This afternoon, City Council is expected to meet on a variety of topics, but protests are also expected. Organizers say it's in response to Mayor Catherine Pugh's decision to not support a $15 minimum wage here in the city. Now, it was about a week and a half ago, Mayor Pugh announced her decision to veto the minimum wage bill passed by City Council. The bill's lead sponsor, Councilwoman Mary Pat Clark, says a vote on a veto override could come by mid-May, though that would be only if she has enough support. 11 council Council members voted for the bill. 12 would be needed to override. Mayor Pugh says the fight for higher wages should continue, but at the state level. Also, this afternoon at one just ahead of opening day, the city council is expected to meet and introduce some resolutions, among them reviewing and helping reverse annual reductions in crossing guard personnel. They'll also be reviewing incentives to spur private sector development and planned uses of those incentives. Now, back to minimum wage, that pro protest is expected late this afternoon on par with the state. The minimum should be up to $9.25 starting July 1st, and that's on track to get to $10.10 by next year. Reporting live from City Hall this morning, Omar Jimenez, WBAL-TV 11 News.